Hello everybody. Today I'm going to show you what I learned from Minion Museum, a lady who has a channel and she builds enclosures for ball pythons and I learned how to build this bin enclosure for my leopard gecko. And this bin is a tool bin that I got from Home Depot. This is the lid. I'll show you with the lid on first. Okay, this is the lid on it. I put a screen on top of here and I cut holes into the lid so that there could be ventilation in, inside of this enclosure. And at first I used some glue, but the screen wouldn't stick. So I had to use Gorilla Tape. I used this type of tape, some Gorilla Tape, and that held it. Later on, I'll figure out something different to do for that. And the doors, I used the cup screws and I bent them in S shapes as she taught in the video. And she said, use a handle one of those clip-on handles that stick on handles and I put my doors on and they work perfectly nice see three hinges and I used um, I use a uh, clip ties on the hinges and cut the clip ties Everything went really smooth and easy. It's easy to lock the door and unlock the door. And it's really easy to lock the doors and it's secure. Everything is secure all around. And I can see inside what's going on with my animal and I could even look through the top because I made those holes so I'll be able to look inside and see everything and now let me show you the inside again as I say the door opens and I could just feed my leopard gecko from the outside and there's some high I put some hides I put a tree and they go Tonga hiding under the tree this is her first time in it so she's getting used to it hi Tonga hi lady cuckoo hi Tonga say hi yeah beautiful hi okay and I put some enrichment for him or her, I don't know if it's a boy or girl. She's still a baby. And she has a warm hide, moist hide, and she got a, a cool hide here and a cool hide here. So she has lots of hides in her water bowl and her food bowl with her calcium. Everything she has ready for her to have enrichment and enjoy herself in this enclosure. She has plenty of room, plenty of space, because I wanted to upgrade her. And I was just going to get a regular glass tank, but I said, let me give it a try because it looks so beautiful. The way she, the lady on Minion's, Minion Museum was making her enclosure for her pythons. It looked pretty easy. And I said, let me give it a try. So I did. So this is what I bought. I bought zip ties. And I bought a plastic cutter. This thing was really good. It helped me to cut this door open really nice. And I bought two packs of utility hinges. And I bought a pack of uh, cup hooks. And I bought some Gorilla Glue. And I was able to complete this task it took me a little while to do it though, because I had to cut holes 
in the um the lid and I kind of cracked the lid at the top but I, I'm still I able was able to salvage it it was hard getting out the um square holes because this this bin is pretty thick and it's very solid very 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 solid and strong so I hope my baby will enjoy this and um I gotta find a place to put her in it find a spot to put her and I think she will enjoy it and I may do this with other animals because I'm able to stack these and this would be great because I have 14 reptiles so this would be great if I could use this and stack them. I spent $60 purchasing all the supplies and stuff. It's still cheaper than if I bought a, um, a whole setup from the pet store so this was good and I felt good doing it. It was fun. I really enjoyed it making it and I hope my little baby enjoys it too. Thank you.